A court in France has heard shocking testimony from a woman whose husband is accused of enlisting dozens of strangers to rape her after having her Imagine finding out that your spouse has been drugging you for a decade to let strangers violate you while you are unconscious. This disturbing reality became the fate of one French woman. But there's an even more disturbing part of this case that will leave you lost for words. Let's dive deep into the twisted case of a woman whose life turned upside down at the hands of her husband. In September 2020, a French man was caught filming beneath women's skirts using a pen camera at a grocery store in the town of Carpentas by a security guard. Later, police were called on him and he was arrested right there. The man was identified as 67-year-old Dominique Pellicot, a former employee of the EDF, a French electric utility company. Pellicot at the time was a retired bank manager. had been arrested. He was at a grocery store where he tried filming up the skirts of three women. The police arrived at his home and searched his belongings without wasting any time. They were unaware of the chilling discovery that was about to come. As they took hold of his phone and computer, they found a USB attached to his computer. In a shocking twist, they came across a folder named Abuses in the USB, which had around 20,000 images and films of Pellicott's now 72-year-old unconscious wife, Giselle Pellicott, being almost 100 times by several different men. Horrifying crimes. After police opened an investigation into the horrifying case, it came to know that Pellicott had been recording his wife being raped since 2011 when they were living near Paris. He kept up with the abuse campaign even after they moved to Mazan to get Giselle into a deep sleep. Pellicott used to crush sleeping pills and anti-anxiety medications like Temesta and add them to her evening meal or drink. According to a report, he bought 450 sleeping pills in one year alone. Monique would crush sleeping pills and anxiety medication. He would mix this in Giselle's food. He would then text and invite strange men to his house to exploit his wife without her consent. He had found these men in an online chat room called a Sun Insu, which means without their knowledge, on an unmoderated French website coco.fr or coco.ge that was shut down back in June. The chat room reportedly had members who fantasized about performing acts on people without consent. He had reportedly sent degenerate messages to 50 of these men, which went like, you're like me, you like mode, when he invited them over to his house. The men would come beforehand and park their cars a few minutes away from Pellicott's home. Sometimes they would need to wait for an hour or two in the parking lot for the drug to take effect on Giselle. Once inside the house, he would tell them to undress in the kitchen so his wife wouldn't be suspicious, even if they left their clothes mistakenly. He admits that he did what he did, as well as the conditions in which he did it, and there was not an ounce of contestation during the entire investigation. Pellicott had set strict rules for the men, which included park nearby and walk to the house, do not wear perfume, don't smoke or drink, cut and clean nails, don't talk loudly, rinse hands in hot water before touching his wife and leave at the slightest sign that his wife is disturbed. The most disturbing part of the case was him taking part in and recording the men performing acts on his wife. On the other hand, Giselle never knew what had been happening to her for a decade without her consent. She only found out about it when he was arrested in 2020. When she discovered the truth about her husband, she became utterly shocked. She and Pellicott had been together since they were 18 and were raising three children. Her lawyers said that she was so heavily sedated that she stayed unaware of the abuse that she had been enduring for years. An expert said she was closer to a coma than to sleep. But the situation escalated even more when authorities uncovered that Pellicott didn't only abuse his wife, but also their daughter, Caroline Darian. When the police searched through his computer, they came across a sickening folder named Around My Daughter Naked. Similar to what he did to his wife, he also drugged his daughter and took photographs of her. This all happened in 2013 when they lived in a house near Paris. Trial. Pellicott stayed in custody from 2020. In addition to him, 51 other men were identified from his recorded films and brought to justice and prosecution. They were between the ages of 22 and 70. Some of them were found to be employed as forklift drivers, fire brigade officers, company bosses, journalists, and others. Some are single, others are married or divorced, rest of them are family men. Most of them only performed the act once, while others returned up to six times. 
Shockingly, no money was exchanged between Pellicott and the accused men. Besides, he doesn't seem to have any mental health issues that might have triggered him to commit this crime, making this case even more twisted. This is the cure defendants in the rape case that has sent chills through France. There are 51 men on trial, including Dominique Pellico, who is accused of drugging his wife and inviting strangers over to rape her in their home. They shield their faces as they go through security. Pellicott, alongside these men, faces trial on the charges of aggravated. While he has already admitted to his crimes, other accused men say otherwise. The majority of the defendants think that they didn't do anything wrong besides taking part in the couple's fantasy. One of the men said it was a couple's game, and the other said the relationship had to take place at night in complete darkness because the woman was shy and hung up despite her desire. She would pretend to be asleep. Pellico's husband, Dominique, has already confessed to everything, to repeatedly drug his wife over the course of more than a decade. But many of the other men also on trial her, have told police that either they didn't realize she was unconscious while the third said that the husband was present at the time and there was no their defense insisted that they only helped fulfill the couple fantasies but pellicott said everyone knew that his wife was without her knowing all along during the trial the judge detailed the photos of pellicott's daughter darian who was present with her mother at the time she melted into tears and went out of the court for 20 minutes darian has written a book and i stopped calling you daddy which is solely about her father's case in the book, she has shown that she's haunted by the fear that her father might have invited men to rape her too. She wrote, I'm convinced I was drugged, but he'll never admit it. On the other hand, Giselle testified for the first time in court on September 5th, saying, it's unbearable, and I have so much to say that I don't always know where to start. Generally, the press and court don't disclose the identity of victims of sexual abuse, but she chose to go the other way. Her lawyer said she wants her name to be publicized the way she has opted to let her case be dealt with in public. She didn't choose otherwise because that's what her attackers would have wanted. After her husband's reality was uncovered to her, Giselle left him without a second thought. For me, everything collapses. These are scenes of barbarity. She left her house with two suitcases and said in court, all that was left for me of 50 years of life together. I no longer have an identity. I don't know if I'll ever rebuild myself. The feelings of betrayal took over her as she said, I was sacrificed on the altar of vice. They regarded me like a rag doll, like a garbage bag. I think I've said everything I could. It's not easy. There is a lot of pressure. We're going to have to fight to the end. This trial is going to last four months. One of her other lawyers, Antoine Camus, said, for the first time, long after the fact, she will have to live through the that she endured over 10 years. She is completely determined to face them and her husband with whom she lived for 50 years, but whom she knew nothing about, as she discovered at 68. During his investigation, it was found that Pellicott had a patriarchal and manipulative personality, and he used his wife as bait. Veronique Le Guazieu, a specialist on violence, said, many people will say he is crazy, but that's in no way certain. Only a tiny number of diagnosed with a real mental illness. Aside from current charges, Pellicott is also charged with a 1991 murder, which he denied, along with a 1999 murder attempt. The latter turned out to be true after DNA test results, and he eventually admitted to his crime. The trial will continue and end in December. The accused men will come to court in small groups before a panel of five judges. Pellicott will speak before the judge in the next week with the testimony of psychiatrists, psychologists and computer experts. That's it for today's case that sent shockwaves throughout France. While the trial is still pending, people hope justice will prevail. If you were entertained, give the video a thumbs up and share your thoughts about the case in the comments. Stay tuned for more, and as always, stay safe out there.